In relation to gameplay, there are some features that you should know before you start playing. These are key events, strategies and tactic cards. In this chapter, we're going to talk about key events. Key events are the rounds of the match. There is an equal number of key events per half, and they last up to one minute. The winner of the key event has the opportunity to score a goal. Key events can either be solo or tandem. This means that you must participate with one side block from your team, or you must participate with two. The key events can also be classified as either single skill or dual skills, which means only one skill will be considered, or two skills will be considered. Based on the combination of these two variables, you can find four different types of key events, solo and single, one side block competing with one skill, solo and dual, one side block, two skills, tandem and single, two side blocks, one skill, and finally, tandem and dual, two side blocks, two skills. For example, if it is a passing solo key event, you should choose one of your side blocks to compete against one of the opponents, and you will probably pick the highest passing skilled player you have. After both teams have selected their side block or side blocks, and the tactic cards are played, we will explain this later, the engine will compare and calculate the difference in total skill ratings. After that, the winner will face the opponent's goalkeeper, who will have a randomized shot-stopping rating in a range that depends on picked strategies and tactic cards played. If the difference in total skill ratings is higher than the goalkeeper's shot-stopping rating, a goal will be scored. If it's equal or lower, it will result in no goal.